Hello gamers and welcome to episode 439 of the Super Ultra Podcast Arcade for December 9th, 2023. I'm one of your hosts, Daniel Nicholson, and with me is my co-host, Dominic Stallworth. What's going on, Dominic? Uh, not much, man. Um, I am out of town, so we'll be sounding a little bit different, um, and the setup's a little different here, but I will still be able to record. Um, this podcast is going to be... Um, a pretty big one. We're not going to do the uh, traditional like sports and wrestling and um, what we're watching and stuff like that because of how because of the game awards and because of the big one, the um, Grand Theft Auto trailer oh, was released leaked only a day before, um, <laughs> yeah. but we're still released nonetheless. And the uh, but I will just quickly talk about the games I did play. Um, some games I basically these are the games I forgot to mention for the last uh, last week, but um, I did play um, Stray Gods, which is a musical game, mm-hmm. which got um, it it did I think Jeff Keighley and them did a bad job. They should have probably nominated this game. Actually, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, well, I think they, for music they should have nominated this game. I mean, it's pretty. Cool, like how they do the music in the game. It's um, it's a more of a visual novel. Um, I'm trying to think what to compare it to. Uh, um, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think of another game that I played that was like a visual novel um esque game. I don't know why. I, I just my mind is blank right now. I'm, I, I've played quite a few of them. It's kind but, of like um, oxen free like. No, Oxen Free, you can you can't control the person in this game. Oh right. Okay. Um so gotcha. yeah, you can only um well at least I didn't get to a point where I could. You can choose what to say, which is similar to Telltale. Mm. Um and like you get and how you choose is it changed the lyrics of the song. So if you choose something more aggressive, the song becomes more aggressive. Like she her her um the actual lyrics or more passive or whatever like you you have options to change like to be or to say what you want to say and it changes the lyrics of the song um it's about this um woman or this young woman who i guess something's happened to her life and she's kind of um going through some things but she is with the band but then she meets this woman who because they get doing tryouts for the band and all of a sudden, um, like she, um, the woman was there after the band had finished doing trials, though. But she, she met her, and then um, they went a separate ways. But when the girl went home, the woman came, and she was like dying. She, uh, I don't even know how she found. Well, you don't know how she found your place, but then you realize she was a god, and now you got her powers. She was the god of um, like music. Ah, oh, forgot the god's name, but. They now the gods are blaming you for her death though because they think you killed her because you was the only one there. So you're basically trying to prove yourself. But since she's like the god, like kind of like a music, you kind of force you can well you don't really force them, but people can sing and when they sing they kind of tell their feelings and stuff like that. And that's how the game goes. And yeah, it's very like Broadway ish, you know, kind of thing, um, musical or be, be and not just Broadway, but you know, like Disney, I guess. Uh, music right away, but more of a not. I wouldn't say adult, but I wouldn't say children's either. You know, it's like adult, but not like adult as in like we're real adult. You know, <laughs> it's just this by teenager, you know, or older type of game that someone would play. Um, yeah, it's probably uh, it. Yeah, it's um. So far, I mean, I'm enjoying it because the mystery is really what I'm into. The music is fine. Um, it's not, I'm not gonna say I won't buy an album or nothing, but um, even though I'm curious what the album would be, would it be like different versions of the same song <laughs> because of the different lyrics or what? But I can see why it was nominated for the Grammys, you know, <laughs> because of it, cause it does sound good yeah. and it's very creative how they do that, um, your choices. So yeah, it's it's pretty alright. I got some recordings of it, so I'll post it up there. Yes. Um, another game I played, um, Oh man, I I don't know. Okay, I don't remember. I want to get to these games, but it's gonna be probably. I probably just gonna post a video and hey, it, it's. I just have to mention um, it up there, but I'm probably gonna post some videos of trailers too, 
on this one to really cover what we talked about. Um, but yeah, so I guess we could get right to the big one, man. I mean, yeah. this is what, like, even with all the announcements on the Game Awards, this is just the biggest news because it's the biggest game mm-hmm. basically almost ever. I was going to say, oh, in existence man. ever. Yeah. Yeah, so it, I mean, it, it broke it broke YouTube. YouTube was broken, dang. Oh, oh, really? stop. Uh, uh-huh. But they say it's like the most watched YouTube video. Mm-hmm. Um, what's it other than music or something like uh, that? Okay. I, I know at one point it was. I saw uh, something about it, it like it, having the most yeah. posts on Twitter and all that stuff too. Yeah, it, yeah. It, I mean, it's. I mean, yeah. It's an age of you know. Damn, Archer is still coming on. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but um, but I think this is the final season. Um, okay. But yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. I mean. Yeah, this thing, this game isn't. I mean, it's just amazing how popular. I mean, how huge this game is. I mean, even back like, um, I mean, it became huge in Grand Theft Auto Three, and it's just gone up and up and there up mm-hmm. since then. And now social media is even bigger now, so you can definitely just see the eyeballs on this. Um, people looking at this game, but yeah. So I guess we can just. Um, Let's just start off. So yeah, the trailer came out. Um, how I feel about it? Uh, I mean, it's if you ever seen Grand Theft Auto trailers, you know, they always show like the first trailer or um, like it shows a lot, but it doesn't tell a lot. Yeah, you know, um, it's very much it, a it tone just, set it really just shows piece. you the world. It shows you the world and the characters and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like you don't get a story or nothing from it. You don't know. Um, you can just get what you. You get people just like guessing and things of that nature, but you get the yeah, you get the setting piece, and it's usually some sort of, but it's usually like in-game content, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we might see some type of gameplay, but even if it's not gameplay, it is in-game. Yeah, you know? it's you always might, some, yeah. This so, is in-game cinematic visuals. Yeah. yeah, they usually do that, and and this one, um, it definitely shows you that yeah, you definitely in Vice City. It's definitely is Florida, um, mm-hmm. and they really show off things that we've seen in Florida, like Florida stuff online, like videos, like uh, gators and sexy things bodies. And, no, okay. Yeah, and a lot sexy of sexy gator a lot of, bodies. A lot of ass. There, a, there lot, a lot of lot, ass. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> Welcome to Miami. Um, yeah, but it it it, it looks good. It, it looks gorgeous. Um, I mean, because I look back at Grand Theft Auto Five and how that looked great at the time, mm. and I was like, man, I definitely see a difference. Yeah. Like, I see a difference when I go back and look at that game and what I saw here. Like, when I first saw it, if I wasn't really thinking about Grand Theft Auto 5, I would think, like, hey, it don't look that much different, but it looks good. And then I'll go back to, oh, yeah, they definitely. That's exactly how I felt. Because, like, the first time I looked at it, I was like, okay, this looks good, but, like, not amazing. But, like, now watching it again a couple more times, I'm like, okay, yeah, no, this this is pretty on point. Yeah, and then you gotta think that Grand Theft Auto Five came out ten years ago, and that was a another generation. That was two generations ago. Yeah, and so you're talking about you didn't you only you didn't have a Grand Theft Auto last generation. Nope. Like you just had a um a remastered. Yeah. Of it, so you so you're talking about going for them. So we don't. So you're comparing a game. Like to a game that's two generations ago, is like yeah, this damn well is going to be looking great. <laughs> I mean, cause they, like, like the only thing you got to compare it to is Red Dead Redemption Two, yeah, really. And the visuals and of those are so just, different. Yeah, exactly. Talking about like a, a nice um, freaking the wilderness and stuff, mm. which is beautiful. But now you're talking about city life yeah. and everything, and you know, um, man, uh, like you're. And all the things they show in that game is just like, man, you like the, the cars. I like the whole lighting of the car racing, mm-hmm. doing the spin drifts. And all this stuff is, a lot of, a lot of it uh, 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 is from things that have been done in real life. Like, they just made it in, like, Grand Theft Auto. Like, those uh, Instagram or, yeah. or um, TikTok videos. Like, they've been done in this kind of Grand Theft and then they just did it in the Grand Theft Auto engine or whatever. And... Yeah, I, I wonder how that is. Like, 
what it, what those um the TikTok or whatever their version of it. Yeah, are they going to have like an in-game social media that you're utilizing in some way or whatnot? Yeah, yeah. Because in the other one, they had it. They had um their version um life lifesaver. What's it called? Or no, life? No, oh, what was that called? Like like um not life lifesaver. It was something. Yeah, it's something like you get a life. I don't know, but uh, but it's. it's it had it had that version, but you didn't really interact. You just kind of just looked up there yeah. and see stuff happen, and you read it, and it's pretty funny. Um, the whole internet, I mean, God, and I just, I'm now thinking about Grand Theft Auto Five. I'm like, I looked at it a bit, but it was a lot. They that was a lot of shit that I just didn't look at. <laughs> that I think about. I always say I'm gonna go back. Cause I'm gonna go back and look, and I, I never did. Um, but yeah, man, I, I wonder if it's like. Or can you do your own videos and stuff? Which they they probably do. I mean, I mean technically you can do your own videos because you just record and yeah. just do something. But I mean, like something with integrated with them. Uh, yeah, man. It's but yeah, I'm looking at the um the beaches, like oh my god, like someone put a side by side picture of like Vice City in uh, what two thousand um what was that uh, two two thousand two. Yeah, two, I'm watching this, this IGN see, video like, now. Oh, they're showing some of that stuff and i'm like oh my god i forgot how bad that looks by today's standards you know i mean it's so empty too uh-huh. <laughs> and like like and this is like the beaches are full of people all doing different things and like man and the hair and stuff i, fe- I so wonder if that's gonna be like because you know the the graphics like while they are impressive they they aren't like mind-blowing but i wonder if like the population density is just gonna be incredible Oh yeah, definitely, uh, definitely. Um, and um, it looks like it looks like the main character is a woman. Now I don't know how they'll do it with her and her um, boyfriend, or her, I don't know if they're married or not. But um, her and significant other, I don't know if this is gonna be like a switcheroo where you play as him, because you really see him talk. You being, you really saw her yeah. more of in control. Um, so I'm not sure, but yeah, this is the first one. It's the first one you play as a um, a woman, um, which is it should be interesting. And she seemed like she's uh, some type of Latino. I don't know if she's what she's gonna be. Um, she Florida, I, every time I think of Florida, I always think at least like Puerto Rico or something. Mm-hmm. But um, but or maybe Cuban. Cubans. I don't yeah. know. Um, Especially on like so. Miami. Yeah, and well, the thing is, yeah, it's Miami, but it's also you see like Everglades stuff. So, yeah, but it's I'm their sure. version of Florida. So it's probably like a good mix, kind of like how LA is. Like, yeah. I mean, with um, Los Same. Santos, it's yeah. like that. But then you go up just a little bit north, it just it feels it's like Northern fucking California. Mm-hmm. And you know, in reality, it's not that. Um, <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> it, it, it take a little longer. Yeah, but um, so it's probably just like yeah, their version of what Florida like kind of mixed all in together. Um, cause I'm sure they're gonna have a place where you can see a whole bunch of old people and you can scam them. There's gotta be a mission. <laughs> There's gotta um, be a mission where you, have, where you scam them. Yeah. <laughs> you see a lot of old but people yeah, in the trailer, look- in fact. So most of oh, them yeah, are wearing exactly. clothes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, man, it, it it looks it looks great. I mean, it looks good. I, I can't wait. And then it's all like 2025. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, that really? was disappointing. Not. Not next year. So now I'm like, well, forget it. I won't forget I ever saw this. I gotta go forget I ever saw this. I don't care about this anymore. Cause I'm like, damn. I'm thinking like, cause of how long it took. T- it's ten years from when the game is out. It came out just a few months ago, ten years ago. And I'm just thinking that next year, like it's coming out sometime next year. Yeah. And they said 2025. <laughs> and then it's like, when 2025 then? Exactly. I, is it going to be? I hope it's going like to be fall twenty twenty five. Oh man! Um, I mean, that's when Grand Theft Auto Four came out. It came out around the springish time. Um, they need to have this come out in the, the spring, game, and then the PC come out by the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. And that, yeah, that's disappointing. The PC, no uh, PC really announcement um, on the trailer is. Looks it mean as of right now. Looks it's looking like it's what is going to be with been with the other, like it's been with the other games. It's going to be console versions out first, then PC version. A little disappointing. Um, well, I well actually I ain't gonna say little. 
Uh, I mean, I'll say only little for people who only play on consoles, put it like that, as or as in not disappointed at all. But <laughs> but for overall, that's that's disappointing. I I feel like at this time, the game should come out, and the excuses of hey they can focus on this and make it the best game on the consoles then do everything all the bells and whistles for the pc i feel like this is the best selling game well the last game and (laughs) all the subsequent ones before were like the best selling games ever they got the money to hire some extra so much more money they have so much money why can't they do at the same time really this ain't a small studio here we talked about where oh our resources thin it's as thin as they want it to be that's what it is it's not a, like oh we we can't afford it yeah it, it's that it, it's up to them what they um if they can do it or not i don't think it's like if um like they can't i think they could they just want that secondary just, boost once they they get that second and release that's, what on the PC. that's what god said this is just greed so this is just greed this is just them making people go buy if the PC people want to just really want to play it mm-hmm. go buy a comp one of the consoles yep. and they'll buy it on and the console then you can and then get when it, it comes again. out on PC they'll get it there too because they want mods yeah I'm really wishing since it's on consoles first that Xbox and Playstation will do a deal like not on game, not saying it has to be on Game Pass or what Playstation is whatever it's called um, but that you can stream it. Mm. You can buy it, but you can stream it. Like, like as a cho- like a choice. Yeah. Like you, I just hasn't I just that been Microsoft's I'll, thing though that they they were supposed to start doing that at some point. Like games you own, yeah. You well, can well, this game ain't coming to twenty twenty five, so hopefully by then that'll be a thing. <laughs> yeah. By then you can stream it to your Switch too. Oh my God, Dominic! We're <laughs> by the time that this game comes out. There's a good chance there's gonna be a Switch Two on shelves. Yeah, and it still won't have Grand Theft Auto. And it still won't. <laughs> It'll have Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, Tell they'll have that one. <laughs> They're gonna they get do that. Got the one, one, two, and three, right? I think so. The remakes. Yeah. I mean, the remaster remake, yeah. whatever. I'm pretty sure they got those. The bad yeah. ones. <laughs> the bad, the bad the bad. ones. I mean, they weren't bad games, but that was a bad, yeah. um, freaking bad pool. Um, shit. That yeah. Um, but yeah, so that that was great. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that that. But 2025 really disappointed me, and not having a TC version mm-hmm. disappointed because I didn't even think about it. I didn't even look at it. I didn't even pay attention to like it was just on consoles until I saw someone online mention yeah uh, no same. PC uh, announcement. I was like, oh shit! I said, really? I would think by now. Like that was just a thing, and man, I guess I guess they saying we're gonna wait till uh, uh, are they in the mindset like we're gonna wait till like the latest technology is out there and we can put everything in there, even though people easily you could just update. Yeah, you, you could just update, man. No, they I just mean, want this is people this to is buy a, it twice, down. Like, that's all. It is. <laughs> that's 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 really what it is. That's really what it is. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of no other reason. I can't think of no other reason. Uh, because the reason of you just saying that you want to focus on this, I mean, if that's your reason, that being you're still being, it's still about money because it's still like you're going to maximize. You're not trying to pay for more people to do that. You're just yeah trying to maximize them out for this and then maximize them out for the next one or do a layoff and then have the next group of people go work on a PC version. I don't know. <laughs> um, but overall, yes, it looks great. Um, I'm excited, but then my excitement is going to die down because it's so long away, yeah. and I'll be excited about something else until until I'm excited again for the game. Yo, you got anything else you want to say about um the Grand Theft Auto? No, I think I'm right there with you. It, it looks incredible, but having to wait so long. And I'll, I'll say this though, like having having now watched the Game Awards and seeing how many of those games also were 2025 games it starts to put into reality for me. Like, yeah, we are basically in 2024 at this point. We're, we're mere weeks away. 
so it's it's not that far off but for grand theft auto it's just the fact that it's been 10 years since that last game like we know they've been working on this game for basically at least that long so like was taking so long don't sh- don't show me this game after 10 years and then have it still be a year plus away that's i think that's my my biggest disappointment it's been this long since we've heard about this game and seen this game just wait until we're a couple of months away so you can just boom drop it and 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 have the world change basically yeah i'd rather for them to say like hey the multiplayer will be a year away. Yeah. I'll be okay with that <laughs> because they say they, they because you still got Grand Theft Auto Five multiplayer. Yeah, but they say hey, the new multiplayer we really gonna make it big. It's gonna be Have a while. Have they said anything about the multiplayer for on this that. one? I mean, I feel oh, no. like it's got to be. I don't there. think they. Yeah, and I don't. I, that's probably just gonna be that news that drips out, you yeah. know, all through next year. Like that's twenty twenty four is about mm. how much news we can get about Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> like like uh, that's that's all that is. Like every month, so months you get it. You might get you know how they did Father. He has some more trailers. Yeah. So you're gonna get some more trailers. You know, you might get a trailer of her, and then get a trailer of her boyfriend or something, and then you get a trailer about the social media stuff, yeah. and you get a trailer about a certain area of the. Um, yeah, there's a certain area in Vice... In, well, it's not going to be Vice City. It's going to be like, hey, this is outside of Vice City. This is the swamp lands where swamp people live at and stuff like that. And um, then you get places like Shady Groves where the old people live at. You can scam them. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So they got nothing to say about that. I guess we can get right into the other big news yeah. um, of the week. The Game Awards. Achilles Game Awards. All right, Dominic. So I'm just, I got this in chronological order. I was taking notes as I was watching it. Um, so basically, we kick off with the pre show. It starts out with Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. There is a updated remake of that coming out. That's uh, February 28th of next year, even though I wrote 2023 there. Um, that is a game that when it came out, I remember playing the demo because that was still when like Xbox games always had demos for their, their online arcade games Um, and thinking it was all right. But like everybody was, was gushing about it that year. Like it was on game of the the year list and stuff like that. And I kept telling myself I would get back to it at some point, uh, you know, and now obviously I'm never going to go back to that (laughs) original game unless this comes out and everybody says like they've ruined it. Um, it's just kind of crazy to me, I think, that we're now at a point where a game like this or Braid, like these smaller indie games are now getting these these remasters too. I think it's just, it's so crazy that that's how, that's how big video gaming is now, that these games that were once considered indie, I mean, I say once considered, but like Braid was a game that was made mostly by, you know, like one guy. And here we are now, like, okay, I've I've now got the money and the power and the ability to to make what I wanted to make at that time, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that, that should be interesting. We'll see how that turns out. I... Oh, what? Oh, up? I want to say something about Brothers. Okay, yeah, I'm not, not moving on yet. Um, I will say, though, like, it feels like the original game had, like, a an aesthetic to it, like in our, a specific art style. And this trailer definitely felt like just kind of generic, more photorealistic looking graphics. So I wonder what's going on there. If they're kind of abandoning that just because they have the horsepower now or, or what's going on with that. So what do you think? Dominic? Wait a minute. What what'd you say happened? What the, oh, like it didn't look like it was running well? No, it it just doesn't have the same like art style that it it once did. Oh. It looks like oh, okay. the, it's just like more generic now and I don't know if like maybe back in the day they chose the art style that they did because that's kind of what they were limited to or what, but it just it doesn't feel like it has quite as much character, I feel like. Yeah, um, this is a game that I always said like I wanted to play too. 
because of how people liked it. And I did like, I played the demo also. Mm -hmm. But, um, or I, I played the, actually, I probably played the main game because I think it was free and I was playing some of it. But I never did get back to it. I mean, it's just too many games. But now that this remake is happy, I'm just, it kind of like, yay, yeah, I'll play this version yeah. um, of it. And it, it looks good. It I does. Mean, it looked good from what I saw. So I was like, yeah, this is, that's it. I thought it was pretty cool. That was, uh, that was definitely, um, something that, something new that I didn't expect to see. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I definitely want to get my hands on that because it, it seemed like a guy I would like, like, especially now, I definitely would, I feel like I can play that. Yeah. So play this version. Because it also be has, cool. like, and the this unique concept of you using both sticks at the same time, right? Like, that's how that game yeah. controlled, like, each character you controlled with one stick. Um, and it's coming out on everything. Yeah. Was there a Switch version? There's going to be a Switch 2 version, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm pushing for it, Dominic. That Switch 2 announcement is just around the corner. All right, so what's the next game? All right. Or what's the next whatever happened? Uh, yeah, so I also have the awards sprinkled in here as they showed up, too. So this when they announced the best family game. That went to Mario Wonder. And Doug Bowser Ooh. came up and accepted that. <laughs> I don't remember the choices, so I don't know. I mean, the only one that matters, Dominic Mario Wonder. All right. Next up was a, a new game from Daniel Mullins. He's the one that did Inscription. Uh, it's Pony Island 2. He also did Pony Island 1. Uh, Pony Island 2, Panda Circus. Pony Island 1, I remember being like this weird subversive game where it's like it starts out as this one thing, a, a a pony like side scrolling endless runner thing. And then you slowly find out that like, Oh, there's more to it underneath here. Um, and that seems like, I don't even know if they're going for the like subversion part. Cause it just seems like a lot of weird random imagery from, from this trailer in this one. So this is the first game that they showed off that is coming in 2025. So the, uh, the slow realization that, hey, uh, these games that we're seeing now are, are over a year away. All right. Next up was the Rise of the Golden Idol. This is the follow up to the Curse of the Golden Idol, which I believe came out last year. And that's kind of a point and click. Uh, they call it a classic game. <laughs> a classic game is when it comes out last year. It was a classic game, Dominic. Instant classic. Um Oh, does it have a classic look? Uh, like it definitely has a I'll classic look. It's it's very okay. Uh, almost like ugly pixel art. Uh, they, they have this. Yeah, yeah, like back. Yeah, back in the nineties, yeah. early nineties, and eighty, late eighties and stuff. Kind of way. It's almost yeah. like the Ren and Stimpy of pixel art. Um, so it's got that kind of look to it. This is a, a Netflix published game, I guess. So. You know, we should expect to see that in uh, mobile Netflix and also out on everything else, I believe, still, though. So, all right. Next up was Usual June. This is coming out 2025. Again, pushing it out. Uh, this is a, a cool looking kind of action adventure looking game. Uh, you play as a young woman who's like slashing guys with crystal swords and stuff. And uh, it's looking really good. What would you think, Dominic? Um, it, it I, just, I gotta remember that. I gotta remember what I, cause I watched all those trailers at once, and now I don't remember what uh, this is with the black woman. Yeah, okay, yes, yeah, it, it has a nice little art style to it. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it definitely seems, um, a very like, um, I don't know what you call it, like, bothering, um. What's a nice way to say woke? What's the what's, what's the right way? Uh, uh, I know I know it's it's a word for it. Um, progressive. Like, where it's like something's like kind of no, yeah. not, it's not progressive. I'm not I'm not even saying woke or progressive, yeah. but like modern. Something that's modern, uh, like now. Um, you contemporary. Know, I mean it. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely children contemporary, yeah. like type of mystical game or something like that. Yeah. 
it, it definitely does. Yeah, it's like you were saying during the trailer, though. The only thing that I don't like about it is that they they speak kind of simish. They don't just have voice acting. Yeah, I mean, it costs too much, Daniel. It, it was it was the, it was the, it was the strike. That's what happened. Yeah. The strike happened around the time. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, this is what happens when games, smaller games like this, can't get AI voice acting. You've ruined it, Dominic. Um. That's what I'm saying. I think like, they they could get voice. Yeah, do have an AI system. It's got to be an AI system for like, man, we can't afford to get a real voice actor, then we can use it. Yeah, I'm sure they somebody will sell no their voice. I'll that, sell right? my voice, Dominic, as long as I get a little bit off the top, a little bit of bridge. Oh, you do. You can just do a regular developer's voice, and then the AI will just make it sound good, yeah. like they like a good <laughs> there voice you actor. Go. Auto tune. All right, next up was the award for best accessibility that went to Forza Motorsport. So I'm actually interested to see what they did this year in that game, you know, over over a game like Spider-Man. The game too. plays itself. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. All right, next up was Harmonium the Musical. This is from Odd Gentlemen who uh, yes, have Yes, Spider-Man made 2 the... didn't win. I'm happy. No, I'm happy about that. Oh, okay, go people ahead. are pissed, Dominic. <laughs> Spider-Man 2 was nominated for seven categories, and spoilers, it didn't win a damn thing. So, I know. I was so happy that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, was, I, yes. I didn't really see it winning in any of the categories. Like, with who was Except up for accessibility. So yeah, I mean, outside of that, and for me, that was mostly just because I was m- most familiar with what it was doing, yeah, exactly. and, and what it was doing was pretty impressive. So it is. So Forza must be doing something. A blind person can play the game. Yeah, <laughs> almost. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so uh, Harmonium the Musical. This is from the team that has been working on those new King's Quest games, the ones that were like episodic and kind of like Telltale games. Oh um, yeah, damn. You remember that? I was playing that, yeah. and then I just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a Netflix and Game Pass thing. So you're playing as a little girl who is deaf, and then she seems to go into like this kind of fantasy world where she's then able to, uh, I guess, hear, but like sing and, and perform. And it, it seems like an interesting idea. I want to see what the gameplay actually is going to be like in that. But it's cute. I you mentioned like Pixar like it 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 feels very much like that, you know, that that tone, if you will. Yeah, definitely. It's it's like seems like a really nice game, like a nice story. We're very um warm, you know, I have warm feelings mm-hmm. in there, you know. Very sappy. Yeah, very <laughs> sappy. Um but um it's like, it's not, no, it, no, it it's it seems like it's really nice though. Like, you know, that's it's pretty cool and you know, since like, like I was mentioned about Spider Man, how like you don't really see things with deaf people, you know, in games. So yeah. now to have a game where the main character is that, I mean, it's like, oh, there you go, mm-hmm. there you go. There's something else for um, people to be angry about for <laughs> no fucking reason at all. But that's exactly. that's okay. <laughs> yep, the internet is in a tizzy. All right, next up, Dominic, is Windbound. This is the latest game from the Dead Cells developer. Uh, This is a multiplayer, third-person, like isometric, almost like Diablo view um, action game. Basically, uh, you know, kind of dungeon-crawly type thing. Uh, Very colorful, though. It It looks pretty neat. And that's coming to early access in 2024 on Steam. What did you think uh, of that? I'm sorry. I'm trying to sorry. mess with the mic. Gotcha. Um, okay. So, what, oh, shit. What's, what's the game you said? What's the name? The same, give me the, the name. Windblown. Oh, Windblown. Yes. that's It does. Uh, like, and being in that multiplayer, that's pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. I wonder how the multiplayer is. Is it like you can just jump in, jump out, or is it just... Is it you have to be with friends? You have to be invited, you know? Yeah. Um, which... Yeah, that that kind of like for me. I mean, it's nice that it's there. It's just that I, I'm not going to be able to take advantage of that because right. people don't play games um, that I play um, at my age. Like people are, like in time and stuff, so it, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. So, but that is a cool feature that they have, and it does look. It looks cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, it from the the little bit they did show off the gameplay. Um, 
it looks like it can be fun. Um, I did like Dead Cells, so I, I do trust them in this um, game. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Like, I, I hey, they've done a good game before, so I'm like, hey, they I they earned it yeah. um, for me <laughs> to really look out for it. Like, look out for them in this game. Absolutely. All right, next up, Dominic, the follow-up to Thumper Thrasher. That's coming out in 2024. Is bit, this trailer is basically just like crazy visuals, um, taking the stuff you saw in Thumper to kind of a whole nother level. A lot of moving things going on, a lot of weird demonic looking things coming at you. Yeah, it looks good. I, I love Thumper. Yeah. It was really fun. I never did finish it all, but I liked it. I liked it in VR. It was really cool. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Next up, Dominic, another one you're probably looking forward to, Persona 3. That's coming out February 2nd of next year. And it's looking pretty good. Reloaded. It's called Reloaded, yeah. right? Um, so, yeah, this is the remake of Persona 3, which I now I wish I didn't play <laughs> um, recently this yeah. year. Uh, because I did not know they were doing a remake. Uh, but, yeah, so... But it just looking at it, it looks good. Uh, it looks like it, it mean it still feels like it's, it's being the story, everything's gonna be the same, but it, it's gonna be different because it's just it's told it's basically looked like Persona 5 with uh, I mean Persona 3 with the Persona 5 like skin over it, which is a whole lot better than what Persona 3 was. Because I mean, I think that was a, a PSP game, yeah, a PSP game that was back in how, how many years ago, I forget. But so it's it's been a while, and yeah, I, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. But it's it's just quite a few games in between that that I want to play too. So it's like it's, it's I can wait um, for it. And I'm just gonna suck that. By the time I probably want to play it, it probably be they probably be saying, "Hey, we leave a game pass," and I'm like, <laughs> "Oh fuck!" Um, <laughs> but I have to play these other games. All right, next up, Dominic, uh, the announcement that Dave the Diver and Dredge, two of the indie uh, games that were nominated for Best Indie in this show, uh, were doing a crossover. And it makes sense. They're both kind of fishing sea exploration type games. Dave the Diver, you're obviously diving for stuff. Dredge, you're kind of in this uh, ship trying to pull up junk and stuff like oh, that. Oh, so that's... So I was just looking at Dave the Diver the game now. Yeah. That's all I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's coming December I didn't 15. realize that's what it was. Because that game was already out, right? Dave the Diver yep. already came yeah, out. Yeah, that's been out for quite a yeah. while now. It, it came out most recently on the Switch like a month or two ago, and there's actually a demo on the Switch as well. So, yeah. Those games look cool. Uh, World of Goo 2 was next. Uh, they made a big deal of this because it's been a very long time since World of Goo 1 came out. And that was kind of a big deal around the oh, time yeah. of like, the Wii and stuff. It was. And, and like, and, yeah, that was like one of those, like, when I think of indie, like, that was one of the, the big ones, mm -hmm. like, at the early point when people were talking about indie games. And then you just saw it a lot. You saw that game a lot on everything, man. Yeah. Um, World of Goo. And, yeah, finally getting it too. Did like, you ever play World of Goo? that studio? Like, nope, I never <laughs> played it. Um, but um, who who made that game? Like, did they make games in between this Let's and that? See. World of Goo? Dev of Goo. No. Uh, let's see. 2D Boy is World Dev of Goo. Of what else did they do? They had... Um, I swear there were some other things that they had done. Oh, I'm already on the 2D Boy website. What did they do, though, Steam? Oh. The only thing that pops up on Steam when I type in World of Goo is... Or when I type in 2D Boy is World of Goo. So maybe... Maybe that maybe is Western solving. Maybe Western Laurels. <laughs> yeah. They've, just, they've, oh, they've been, been working on that, this been game for... They've been on getting that since... money from, from World of Goo for the last... Darren, how many years ago was World of Goo? Oh, let's see. That's what I know it's definitely more than 10. The company was founded in 2006. Da, 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 do they yeah, have... because they came out on the, the Wii. And it was on the Wii yeah. uh, one, yeah. one time, too. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it had to be like that before the 2010s. October 13th, 
is when it was yeah, released okay. on Windows and WiiWare in North America. Yep, WiiWare. That's that's what I remember first saying. Yeah, because uh, I remember people kept t- talking about it. It looks just but like a bridge building game, game, though. Like it's it's so crazy that it it picked up the traction that it did because it just kind of looked like a bridge building game. Wait, you never played it? Nah. Oh, you never played either. Damn. <laughs> Just a blind spot in our gaming, Dominic. All right. Next up after that was, this was the last one they showed on the pre-show. This is Metaphor Re-Fantasio. This is a new game from the director and numerous other collaborators from Persona 3, 4, and 5. It's going to be a fantasy RPG. Uh, Looks like it's exclusively for the Xbox coming out in fall 2024. Yeah, like all those games, like like anything to do with Persona, where it's just like it's Persona, it's Shimigami Tensei, mm-hmm. and others. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's the only ones I know. <laughs> but yeah, and that's exactly what it looks like. Um, it looks like kind of in that vein of those type of games. It look, I mean, it looks good. Um, so if you're interested in that cold uh, genre, I mean, I don't know if you call it genre. I mean, it's just an RPG, but. Yeah. Though those studios, because of their type of games and the type of I mean, the type of monsters, all seems to cross over. I'm curious. I didn't really look at like closely at this to see if it does do the same thing they do between Persona, uh, Persona and Semi Gamma Tensei, where they have the same type of monsters. Yeah. In both, if they're gonna have it in this too, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder. This uh, correction to that, it's not just Xbox exclusive. I'm not sure. I guess I thought I saw an Xbox logo at the end of this, and it's not been confirmed for Game Pass. So maybe I was just seeing like the beginning of the next trailer or something, uh, or the next commercial since it was the end of the show. But it is coming to oh, okay. basically everything. So, all right, the main show. Oh, Switch. Yeah, Switch. It has Switch up there too. Uh did I see Switch on that website there? Let's see. They've got, uh, no, not Switch. Xbox Series X and okay. S, uh, Windows, PS5, PS4, and Steam right now is what they've got. So we shall see. As soon as that new console is shown off, Dominic, they'll, they'll announce it for that too. All right. The main show kicked off with the announcement of the Best Performance Award, and that was presented by Christopher Judge, who, of course, famously last year took seven minutes during his acceptance speech. Um, a, a thing that we will see the results of if you watch this show, because there were very few categories where they actually were on the stage and presented the awards to a developer, or, you know, whomever creator. And when they did that music was almost hitting instantly. Like even in this one, it was Neil Newbon who won for Baldur's gate and almost instantly it felt like that music was playing to get him to speed up and get off that stage because man they they (laughs) didn't they did not give him a chance um so yeah since then jeff Keeley said you know this year it sounds like you know yeah this year we we were a little uh too hard on the developers um so hopefully maybe next year he can because they want them to balance. They want them to talk. Oh, uh, say free Palestine. That's why it's like they, <laughs> they might not have wanted to keep that or up. say anything about you know the terrible conditions the developers <laughs> are dealing with right now because <laughs> oh that too. also yeah. didn't mention any of that and there are plenty of articles about that. There were also people outside protesting, apparently. Um, but yeah, none of none of that came up. Um, so yeah. Um, after that, Matthew McConaughey came out. All right, all right, all right. Uh, apparently, he is working with a studio in Austin, Texas, um, as a voice actor for Exodus. This is going to be a third-person action shooting game. Uh, it Jeff Keighley mentions it after the trailer runs, but like it has Mass Effect vibes. It it has a lot of space sci-fi vibes to it. It it's a good-looking game. It it presented well. Yeah, it, it presented well. Um, so, it de- yeah, I like that give Mass Effect vibes because I mean, we need a backup plan just in case this next <laughs> Mass Effect um, sucks. Uh, so, 
Yeah, because I got my Starfield. I mean, I know some people are disappointed, but I'm not. Mm-hmm. I, I like it, so I feel like I got I got the game I wanted. Yeah. And I, I do want another Space Odyssey type of game. So, yeah, um, like, keep it coming. And something that's not freaking multiplayer. <laughs> and we're like... I don't mean multiplayer, just versus. I mean, like, that it has to be, with like, um, oh, there's a whole bunch of people. Like, multiplayer choice. You know, like, maybe somebody jump in to help and stuff, but I, that's all I want. Yeah. I don't want it to be that it's the focus. Mm-hmm. All right, next up was the surprise announcement of new God of War Ragnarok downloadable content. A, a new mode, basically. This is going to be called Valhalla, and it seems like... And it's, it's free, man. Amazing. Yeah, I, that is... Well, because it's more of a mode, I don't know if there's even actually really going to be story elements to it if you, like, beat the mode I mean, or yeah, something. I mean, yeah, I know, but it just... Yeah, nowadays, everybody wants a piece a of their... <laughs> a piece of that cake. Yeah. But yeah, so it seems like basically just kind of a, a tower-esque thing where you're going to be fighting enemies, you die... You know, you restart again, you get different power-ups, you die again, so on and so forth, rinse and repeat. Um, And that's coming out December 12th, so that's just mere days away at this point uh, as of recording this. Um, Yeah, so that's that's cool. I mean, for people that are, you know, looking looking for a reason to get back into that combat. For me, I'm... Uh, I don't need to reason. I just need to get back to playing that game so I can finish that story. <laughs> yeah, same here. Same here. Because it's like you said, you were like, I don't really want to watch this trailer in case it spoils anything. And yeah, I, I, I don't think, I don't, I don't think I know how that game ends. But I also know how that game doesn't end. You know, which was kind of a concern. So I don't know. I don't know what happens in that game, but I, I feel like I still know more than I would like to know at this point. Um, so I just need to get around to finishing it and, and seeing what happens for myself. After that was Big Walk. This is the latest game from House House, who was the untitled Goose game developer. Uh, this is coming out in 2025. Uh, like I said, this is kind of a trend. Um, this game, I I... I am struggling to find words about describing this thing. So like you have these very cartoonish humanoid type things. Like they have two arms, they have two legs, but their faces are just very basic with big noses. I guess that's what they are. And they're just making these weird sounds as they move around and then they're interacting with each other. So I don't know if it's like a multiplayer game or if it's just, you know, the characters in the world, it, it gives me the feeling of like a bug snacks where it's just like, there's these really odd characters in this really odd world. And you're just kind of going around and exploring and, and interacting with them. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I have nothing to say about it because <laughs> I don't know what it is. But it seems like it's one of those all quirky games that might be fun and funny, you know, because yep. people did like the Goose yeah, game. Yeah, the Goose so, game was yeah. good. So much like you said with the other developer, like they they kind of have that cachet with me where it's like, oh, yeah, I trust that they're they're making a cool, weird thing. Yeah, definitely. All right. Next up. Yeah, so, something original. You know, yeah. you, you need something that's that's something I, like I just can't really put my mind on mm-hmm. until I play it. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, exactly. It's cool. Those are the best games, the ones that I can't come up with myself. All right. So next up was this performance of Hellblade 2 music. Uh, these people were dressed up as basically like Vikings or like Nordic kind of attire. And then there was a short trailer with some gameplay in there and then a a release year at the end, which was 2024, which I mean... You yeah. would hope so January at this point. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> December 31st. But yeah, how are we, what, what are we, two years after the launch of these systems at this point? And two years? Three years. Three years, right? Because it was 2020. Yeah. yeah, we're three years yeah. after the launch of these systems. And we thought that game was going to be a launch title or a launch window title. And we still don't even have a firm date. Can we still blame COVID? Can we still blame COVID? I mean, I'm going to continue to for the rest of my life, I think. (laughs) It's long COVID at this point, Dominic. Long COVID. Um, 
but yeah, like as as beautiful as that game looks, and as much as one of these days I want to get around to playing that first game, I know I just <laughs> I, I may, maybe that's what's happening here. Like the day that I sit down and I beat that first game is the day that they're going to announce that the second one is coming out. Yes, the following day. They're waiting day. for you, day. They're waiting. You're, you're for holding me it up. <laughs> that's that's what's gonna happen i'm gonna will that into existence i'm gonna wait until i hear rumors that like it's gonna get a release date soon and then i'm gonna play that game so i can make it come to fruition all right after that trailer we saw the announcement for best narrative that went to alan wake 2 sam like went up on stage got like five seconds to have a speech and then they moved on from him uh after that they brought out Ikumi Nakamura, she is the woman that was kind of made famous from a previous Game Awards, uh, you know, or was it was it Game Awards or was it Ghostwire Tokyo? Yeah, it was Ghostwire Tokyo. She was working for that studio, and everybody glommed onto her. I think it was um, E3. I think it was E3. Yeah. So she had she had left that studio, but now she's got a new studio uh, called The Unseen in Tokyo, and they are. They had a trailer for a new game called Kimori. Was she excited this time too? Yes, she was very excited. Very, okay. very That's up, nice. upbeat, very happy. Um, and this this game looks cool. I mean, it's it's very much a trailer that is showing off what they are going to be doing with it. Not like a, a gameplay trailer or anything. But it's like parkour plus action. It looks, it looks co- neat, you know. It's very like cool yeah, exactly. urban stylings. So yeah, it's a very, very very stylish. Yeah, it looked like it could be pretty stylish. Yep. All right. After that was no rest for the wicked. This is coming from Moon Studios, who made Ori and the Will of the Wisp and Ori in the Blind Forest. Um, and it looks like it's kind of like a Diablo like RPG. You know, isometric view, hack and slash kind of thing. So it's interesting to see a lot of these developers that we're familiar with doing a very specific thing like these guys and the Dead Cell guys moving into like basically a completely new genre and exploring different things there. That's that's pretty cool. Did this one interest you at all, Dominic? Did you? I I, okay. I'll I'll try to remember what the hell this game is (laughs) now. (laughs) Um. This is no rest for the wicked. Yeah, no rest for the wicked. Wicked. Ah, dang. Um, I'm trying to think. What? Um. Uh, let me let me go put it in. Yeah. It's very much like old kings and. Oh, this is the Orient of Blood Force. Yeah. Okay. Yes, this looks. Yeah, it looks. I I like the look of it, and it looks like it's a, a kind of action a action game or like Diablo is. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. It has um, a nice yeah, like is, cartoony mixed with like fantasy. I mean, very much yeah. like Rory in the Blind Forest, but now in more of a three D setting. It, it it looks very nice aesthetically. Yeah, because Rory about it was a three it was three D, but it was two D, you yeah. know, a two D look. And this is in the isometric view of it. Yes, look at them, look at them daisies. Yeah, it looks so nice. Uh, but um. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah, yeah, I, I'm excited for this. I, I do want to try to, uh, yeah. uh, I do want to play this. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. Next up, Gonzo from the Muppets uh, was talking with Jeff Keeley. Basically, he was making fun of the fact that they were the same person. Um, like they were talking. Hey, Gonzo was a long nose one, right? What's that? Gonzo is a long nose, has a long curved nose. Yeah. No, I'm asking you. Oh, yes. Is that the yeah. one? Yeah, he's got the long curved nose, okay. just like Jeff Keeley. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. He was basically saying, like, oh, I like playing Zelda because you chase the chickens. Because, you know, that's Gonzo's thing. He also likes to chase chickens. So. I mean, is Gonzo Jewish? <laughs> we hope not, Dominic. We hope not. That's... <laughs> you know? If he is, that's anti-Semitic. All right. After that, Dominic, was the announcement of the best debut indie game. This went to Cocoon, which I I agree with after having just completed that. I think that's a fantastic game. Next up was a trailer for a whole bunch of Sega games, actually. They they just gave you a whole bunch of stuff in one. Uh, Jet Set Radio, a new Crazy Taxi, a new Golden Axe, a new Shinobi, which looks 
awesome. And in New Streets of Rage, they basically said these games are coming out over the next several years. I wonder once we start to kind of shake out like what's coming out first. But I mean, for me out of these, like Golden Axe and Streets of Rage look pretty cool. But like Shinobi was the highlight. Jet Set Radio looked kind of like more of the same. Jet Set Radio, you love that game. You love the game. I I love the (laughs) idea of it. Like maybe they could update the gameplay in a way that would maybe fall more in line with me liking it. But yeah, I always thought that game looked really cool. And then I got my hands on it. I was like, yeah, this isn't nearly as cool as I thought. Um, crazy taxi. I want to know why the um, cops are chasing you. Like, well, what the hell's going on here? I mean, cause you're a crazy taxi. I'm like, you ran over people. They finally let you do that. They don't jump out of the way anymore. They saw how great. Oh man, how I used to Grand always go after people with that game, <laughs> man. I used to always get, say like, "Come on, just just hit them, just trip one time." So, let yeah. Me get you. Thank God for Grand Theft Auto. You can <laughs> you can do the taxi missions and still run over people. Yep. This. <laughs> All right, next up, Dominic, is Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. They finally did it. They returned. Oh, no, back, back to Sega. Back okay, to Sega. Sorry. Yes, that's that's pretty cool. Like, they're trying to, it's almost like a, like, almost like a, a revamp mm-hmm. or something. Like, a, like they, they're, they're back. They're, they're like, hey, back, we've baby. got they're all these properties the besides Sonic that we should probably use. Yeah. It's nice to see. Even though I still so wish that in, in there, it would have been better if they had a 2D Sonic <laughs> um, by the guys who did Sonic Mania yeah. in there. So it'd be like, oh, yeah, we're really back. <laughs> this is Genesis, baby. This is the Genesis. No, they're never Sonic. going back, this Tom. Is the G- yeah. Never going back. I know, man. They give you one game. Crappy Amy. <laughs> Amy and Biggs the Cat. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, they are returning to the realm of 3D fighters. I don't know why. That last Ooh. game was so good. Well, that wasn't even the last game, though, so you can't oh, see yeah, that. Yeah, you're right about it was, that. It was another Dragon Ball Z's game. There's Kakarot there, yeah. Fighters. Fighter Z. Yeah. What is that, what is uh, that but, developer called? Yeah, people... Because I was waiting for... The, I was hoping they, their uh, logo would show up. Atlas? No. The the one that made the two D one the the guilty gear guys oh well they were they were, they were the publisher well they were the publisher I guess what yeah right? no the publisher is Bandai always oh, well is it like a collaboration publisher I know Atlas was the Arc System Works that's what I'm trying to think of. Arc System oh yeah. I, I do I, I just keep I've seen A <laughs> I've seen I've seen the A yeah I was trying I w- I was hoping that they were gonna show off that logo at some point I was gonna be like yeah. They're making another good one, even though I don't know what they would mind because basically they've used every character. So I guess like what no, they would didn't. they do? They still didn't use all of them. There was still there were some they still didn't use. Yeah. Dan. Uh, I mean, I mean, they, these are the important ones. Right. But they Finally, have I like to fight so many Bulma. Goku's and Vegeta's. Yeah, yeah. They should have Bulma. They could have had the pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, the, the, I don't know, Mr. Popo. I mean, they had they had, they had, they had, they had quite a few. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. But no. Um. But, but yeah, there, there are people like like I said. They say they like they like those games. Yeah, I'm, I'm they sure. They like because because um Dragon Ball Xenoverse. They like rolling around, you know, up in the air because it says like yeah, that's what Dragon Ball was. Like you did that. It's true. It just, yeah. It doesn't seem it's like just, something that'd yeah. be fun to for play. For a fighting, yeah, just for a fighting game, it's just, I don't know. Um, it. I mean, it's all right when I play it. I'm like, I'm all right, but I, it gets old fast for me. Because that style, that yeah. style of play is just, it's just not there for me. I don't know. It. Yeah. I just don't feel it. Like the cat, the camera's always off. It's off. Exactly. Even in the trailer, it's just like jumping around everywhere, and I'm like, oh, this is. That's how I knew it was a 3D one. I was like, oh, jeez, just blinking over here, over there. Everywhere. I mean, it looks nice, but yeah, but I don't see. And then I me mean, can do the lock on, but it, then the lock. I don't know, man. Yeah. It's just whatever. Yep. Yeah. All right, Dominic. Next up was the casting of Frank Stone. This is going to be a game set in the world of Dead by Daylight, but made by who super massive games who make the um, the cinematic stuff. Like, ah, what is the one that we played for a while together on the PlayStation Four? Super massive. Because now they're doing like the the chapter games, oh, the dark uh, pictures until dawn. Yeah, until dawn. 
So that's yeah, pretty cool. They make is, really cool games. Who's Frank? Who's Frank Stone? He's the brother of Frank Stallone. No, nah, I, I don't. Oh, okay. I guess some character in in the Dead by Daylight world that they're gonna some serial killer maybe. Oh, okay. So, I guess we will find out when we get a chance to play that game. They didn't have a date on that one. Oh, that's think. what the game is called: the cast of Frank Stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, that's the title. <laughs> that's the title. <laughs> All right, next up was a big one, Dominic. Visions of Man- Mana. They're returning to the Mana world. Uh, this is a new game entirely, and it's full 3D. It looks awesome. It's coming out next year. It does look good. I never played, like, a full Mana game. Like, I played some on an emulator just mm-hmm. to play, try it out. Same. Uh, when it was on Super Nintendo. But I never played it, so I don't really know much about it. I kind of do want to just go back and play, but, you know, it's just... Tom, Tom is not on my side. Yep. Um, but um, I mean, because I mean, there's so many games. So, I mean, but yeah, I mean, this definitely, it looks good. It looks it, like visually looks good. It, it feels like people were really into that, you know, cartoony, kitty looking uh, RPGs. Mm. And it, it looks very, like, very, uh, like, with updated graphics, you know, modern graphics stuff. Yeah. Um, with the anime-ish, you know, RPG kind of look yeah, to it. because they did come out with Echoes of Mana, apparently, like, two years ago, and yeah, it I mean, was they very had the much... Yeah, was how many, was, what, like, less than five years ago, maybe, yeah. or something? <laughs> yeah, but those all kept, you know, like, the old school look to them, and to see oh, this yeah. in, like, a full 3D world was really cool. All right, after that was Rise of the Ronin. This is the new Team Ninja game. That's coming out March 22nd of next year for the PS5 exclusively. And it it looks like a, you know, Ninja Gaiden game. But now you're not a ninja. You're a Ronin. And is it, right now it's exclusive to PS4? PS5. I mean, I mean PS5. Yeah. I mean, PS5, yeah. Yep, for now. Yeah. Well, I say for yeah, now, but, but I, I feel like maybe... Are they publishing it? I feel like they might be publishing it. Game Ninja. Yeah, yeah, Sony's publishing it. So maybe oh, we'll get so on PC. PS5 split. Yeah, PC, maybe. Uh, but no, but that's cool. I mean, it looked, it looked nice. I, I'm just Ninja Gaiden. I mean, maybe I just got to try it. I haven't played Ninja Gaiden game in a while since the first one on Xbox, and it was hard for me. Just make so it, it easier. turned me off that's from all, all of us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, next up, they did a slew of awards real quick. They they had a couple of segments where they did rapid-fire awards. This was best action game was Armored Core 6. Uh, art direction was Alan Wake 2. And VR AR was Resident Evil, the VR mode. And mobile was Honkai Star Rail. So next up after that was an extended segment with Hideo Kojima where he showed off his next game slash movie slash new form of entertainment. OD uh, basically had just the faces of a couple of actors shown uh, nothing gameplay wise, but this is the Xbox game. This is the one that they he's working with Xbox on exclusively. I wonder what this ends up being because he's saying like it's not even a game really, but it's also not a movie. So I don't know. And then they had Jordan Peele come out. Yeah, we got. Well, we're get we're getting a bullshit verse. We're not getting nowhere <laughs> near what um, Sony had with um, what what the hell Death was that called? Stranding, Death Stranding. Yeah, yeah, we get some bull. <laughs> we get police knots. Police knots. <laughs> It's like, it's like police not is that a bad game? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's no that's one of his first ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, after but yeah. Yeah, I'm not I don't really care. Yeah. yeah. I mean I mean I it's I haven't liked the Kojima game since Better Get Solid 2, and even going back to that, it's something I liked when I was young. I don't uh, I mean I, I liked I mean not that I don't I said I did enjoy. No, I did enjoy five. The gameplay, mm-hmm. the story, the stories of his games. I just don't. I have not no feeling whatsoever towards. They just seem weird. Yeah. They're just weird. 
weird for weirdness's sake too. A lot of times it doesn't seem like he has, you know, it's not trying to make some like grand metaphor. It's just like, how can I, well, well how can I make this lady to, naked? Oh, I'll tell you that she breathes through her skin. And it makes sense. That that's what internet tells me. The God sense. even explained it. Even like a recent thing I saw somebody <laughs> said, yes, he said, say like how people all attacked her, like she was naked, but Hey, in the story it made sense why she couldn't do it. It's like, yeah, you can make it make sense. <laughs> Good God, I could be like this lady had to freaking spread her freaking pussy lips out all the time in the game because if she don't, somehow she's gonna die. Oh no! So that's go. why she has to do she that. Has to do it. <laughs> God damn! I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> all right then, that uh, that visual of mine. Moving on, Dominic, to Jurassic Park Survival. This game looks pretty awesome. Uh, it sounds like it takes place a couple of days after the events of the first Jurassic Park movie, and you are attempting to survive the dinosaurs. I just, I hope it's like you were telling me, like, probably like survival horror more than what I kind of equate survival with nowadays, which is like arc and that kind of thing where it's I just like didn't thirst get meters. That from that. Like I, I, get, like, I didn't either, worldness. but that's what yeah. I that's why I was worried just with that with that word in the title. It just it it triggered triggered the alarms in my head. That's all. Oh yeah, I I, I got it more of um I think it's a more this is the Dino Crisis we we won it. That's what I feel like. This is the Dino Crisis that Capcom just will not give us. <laughs> they just gave us Exo Primal. Well, that's the problem with getting it like nominated for anything. No, I mean, I mean, I didn't think it would, but if I was saying, I'm just, um, but yeah, we we didn't. Uh, so I think, and I'm glad. And, and look, it, and it's the Jurassic Park brand. Like they finally did it. They said, like, you know what? They try to copy. You know, they try to take something that was from us, <laughs> Dino with Dino Crisis. Now it's been so many years they haven't done shit with it. And, like they can do that now. And they're like, oh, we're just gonna put make uh, Dino Crisis Jurassic Park basically, yeah. and look at that. And I hope, man, yeah, I hope it's good. I mean, if it's anything like Resident Evil Two or shit, which I don't think is. I mean, I say I don't think it's hard to to do that. <laughs> I'm just saying like you have the right developers. Yeah. You have the right developers with you. And just take what's was there with that, and just put the dinosaurs like from Jurassic Park and shit in a world like goodness gracious, that is fucking money. Like I would, I would play that game, and I'll be scared of shit, but oh, I yeah. want to play it because it's Jurassic Park. See, I wonder if it'll be something as like actiony as that, or if it'll be more of a, a horror type thing where it's like you have to avoid these things. You don't really have any means of all fence against these dinosaurs. Cause I don't know. I, think, I just feel like the Jurassic park series is, is less about like killing the dinosaurs and more about surviving the dinosaurs. Well, the, the, the video games weren't like that though. That's true. That is true. The video games were you, you killed them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shot the shit out of them. But I mean this, I, I do want it to be survival horror. Like, yeah, you have a means to probably defend yourself, but unlimited means. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, Dominic. Next up, you gotta stand still. When the T Rex, when the T Rex come, you gotta stand still. <laughs> well, now you're talking about stealth games. I don't know if I want that, Dominic. I just want to <laughs> shoot him not, in the face. Is that is is that really stealth? All you do is stand still. I can still be there in front of him. That's true. Like in a movie. All right. So next up was best audio design that went to High Fry Rush. Uh, that's pretty solid choice. Uh, next trailer was Black Myth Wukong. That is a Journey to the West game and, you know, a Monkey King game. That game looks pretty awesome. It's coming out August 20th of 2024. I think we had seen that previously a couple of times now. But the gameplay that they showed looks looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. It it, it does look really good. Like, it looks, it looks like a uh, um, God of War Ragnarok kind of thing. Mm. Um, like, you know, going through this world, this mystical world, and these nice environments and big enemies and things of that nature. Um, that's what it kind of looks like. And I'm okay with that. Just, I'm just hoping, like, don't make it like Dark Soulish. Don't make it too hard. <laughs> don't make it anything like that. Because I swear to God, if you do that, man, God damn it. I will send, um, letters. <laughs> well, 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 emails. I'll send emails. Death threat emails. There you go. 
All right, next up was a new trailer for the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League that's coming out February 2nd, 2024. It's kind of kind of crazy that we were talking just what felt like a couple of months ago about how this game was getting delayed and how it was so far away and now here we are just like basically a month and a half away from its release. And I could care less. It could go further. <laughs> <laughs> I I, mean, I wonder I, how it's going to turn out. I really yeah. do. I mean, I think it, I'm hoping it can be, still be fun. Even though it's not the game I want, Yeah, it can still be fun. You know, be, better than Gotham Knights or something mm. like that. Um, but I don't like that they're going, they're trying to milk Nick one dime. But they won't begin that for me. I know that. Like, I'm going to do one playthrough and then that's it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like I can I'm more interested in the story. I'm more interested like what goes from here cuz I feel like this is almost a swan song for Rocksteady. Mm. Not not like Rocksteady with the with the license. I was like or, and, or at the Arkham universe right. so that they might just kill all the fucking Justice League. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Reboot like cuz cuz this yeah, they might just, and then they'll just, I don't know what Roxanne would do after this game, but yeah, I just feel like this is it um, from them as far as that whole Arkham universe. So, but yeah, it, it, I mean, it looks good. It seems funny. Uh, the trailer was pretty cool. Um, man, it's just weird that they went this route. Man. Yeah. Damn, it's so weird that they went this route. That them are all the studios. All the studios you got, you got the one that we <laughs> like the very single player that's game. Yeah. And you got them doing this. That's they were like, we're gonna take these guys and trick them into thinking it's gonna be one thing, and then they're gonna pay for it, and then they're gonna go, Oh wait, there are lots of microtransactions here. All right. Next up was Warframe. There's an update called the Whispers in the Walls that's coming out December thirteenth. Uh, it's gonna add some stuff. Warframe. That's a game that I am. That is a game that has been going on far longer than I would have maybe ever expected it to have gone on. Oh man, I mean that game. I just remember hearing that game when the new systems, mm-hmm. the PS4 and Xbox One first came out. And I now I'm, I'm kind of wish I got into them at least within that year or two because I tried to get into it later and I just didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> yeah, to do. And now I'm looking back, I'm like, wow, Destiny was supposed to be like the big thing, and this thing is <laughs> it's secretly older, Destiny. older than Destiny is Destiny, and it's going longer. I mean, it's technically longer because only because you know it came out earlier, but still, yeah. it was a free to play game. Which now I'm thinking back, I'm like Destiny probably should have been um, because of what Destiny was. I mean, uh, but that's the end up being. That it, that should have been free to play because that I, I feel like I paid sixty dollars yeah. for for a free to play game because I gotta buy everything fucking extra mm-hmm. after. Um, so yeah, they and I always heard good things about Warframe and I played a little bit of it and I was like, okay, this is all right. Um, I mean, compared to Destiny, I was like, I just feel the same way. Is is okay. Yeah. Something now, now, as far as the shooting, yes, the shooting in Destiny is definitely better than Warframe. That, that, that's it. But, I mean, yes, the gameplay wise is better, but uh, content and stuff, I don't know. I think they're probably up there. You, I mean, if you want to do a comparison um, with them and uh, what Destiny and Destiny slash Destiny 2 has done. But yeah, man, that this is one of those long running games that's man, they're they're still going, man. Good good on them and good for the people who do enjoy it. Like they have this out there. Yeah. And I just wanna know what like, yeah, I'm sure there's something on the internet that say, like, hey, I'm new to Warframe, what do I do? <laughs> um something like that. Yeah, I, that's really where I'm at. With Come that. with me under my wing. Yeah. I will adopt you and take you through the content. All right. Next up was Games for Impact Award. That went to Chia. That game seems pretty cool. I played a very little bit of it on the PS5 at one point. I don't remember that game. You said you don't remember you said that Uchiha? one? Uchia? Yeah, I don't remember. It's, it's the called one. Uchiha? Yeah, Chia with a T in front of it. Um, it's the one that kind of had like Wind Waker esque visuals. Like it was very cell shady almost chibi looking character because she was a young girl and she would transform into like a seagull and stuff 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gaze it. yeah. Definitely. I'm surprised. Was Spider Man nominated in this this category too? I don't think so. I'm shocked. I am shocked. <laughs> I think they were all relatively like smaller is. names in this one. Yeah, I guess they chose that. I mean, even though I think that's not fair. No. Because I just feel like Spider Man had a lot of wokeness in it too. <laughs> so I mean, I think it should have been there. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's very progressive. Yeah, it was all uh, Vembo was in there, Terra Nil, Goodbye Volcano High, Chance of Sonar, and Space for the Unbound. They were all relatively yeah, no small. Games. Warfare 3 or anything. Nope. Darn. That should have got in there. <laughs> they let you play as a lady final. All right, let's see. Next up was um, there was an actor that came out, uh, Abu Bakar Salim. He was the voice of uh Bayek in Assassin's Creed Origins and he also played I guess like the father character in the the Raised by Wolves the series on HBO. Um Okay. He didn't last very long, did he? I don't remember seeing him yeah, much after no, the he, first episode. He the father figure um was that the black guy? Yeah, the black man. Yeah, he did. Um because he died but then he came she brought him back. Okay, that's what like, it was. Yeah. Um, wow. He that's him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's he started a studio and he's working on a game called Tales of Kenzena Kenzara uh, Zau, and he basically described it as a way to deal with the passing of his father um, a couple of years ago. And the the game is a side-scrolling kind of action platformer game. It looks really cool visually. It it kind of has like a, a cartoony-esque thing, almost like how the, the new Prince of Persia that's also a side-scroller looks. Um, and it's about like this young man trying to get his father back from, I guess, basically like, the devil or, or the God of death. Um, it, it seems like a really interesting concept. It just looks visually pretty cool. Uh, what'd you think of that one, Dominic? Darn, I, I'm trying to think that I see this one. Honestly, you did. It was the one where you're talking um, about purples and, and, and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, very, very, very Wakanda, very Wakanda esque. Um, what, it did have that? some of that, you know, uh, future Africa kind of vibe to it. Yeah. Um, no, but it looked like it's a side scrolling action game, which I'm, I'm pretty cool with, mm-hmm. you know. Um, yeah, I'm curious about the story. Something like a story that deals with something uh, in Africa lore or something. Well, well, uh, maybe it was a fantasy. Maybe, maybe, maybe got some real things. I have no idea. But I always thought that even as a young age, um, even though I'm not, I'm not particularly Pan African, but I do. I mean, I appreciate stories from the Europeans and I'm like with their mm-hmm. old lords of like either Nordic or Roman or whatever, or the Asians with the Chinese lore or Japanese lore and things of that nature. I was I always said I don't see a lot from Africans like their um, folklore mm-hmm. or anything. Uh, of the con- the the continent of Africa, I mean the uh, more of the um, Western Africa, or even um, like more the black people live at. Let's just be, uh, be frank with it, because um, I even see things you know in uh, the Middle East. You know they, they got their own lore too that right. you see um, that happen, like um, the Prince of Persia and uh, Aladdin, and um, so so you got um <laughs> so yeah. I'm, <laughs> why, why are you laughing? It, that, that, that is a, because, a story. Because when I think of those two things, it's the whitewash version you think of, of Disney. Them. Even though, like, oh, oh yeah, the white, the white. Technically, white, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, those those stories are are originating, you know, from somewhere else. But yeah, my mind <laughs> yeah, instantly goes to the Disney them. Disneyification <laughs> version, basically. <laughs> oh, but um, so so yeah, I I do I do like this. I do like that they have. Um, being this that this type of game, and I want to see like more mm. or something like that. Definitely. All right. Next up, Dominic was the latest "Don't Got Nod" game. This is coming out late 2024, called the Lost Records Bloom and Rage. 
Uh, it appears to follow a group of young women and something supernatural is going on. It very much seems in line with what that original Life is Strange game was. Yes, yes. Very progressive. Yes. Which I, I, very, you know, I think we both enjoyed that original series of Life is Strange quite a bit. Very so. voted for Obama. <laughs> kind of game. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a, so much on so many levels, Dominic. That's, that's a deep one right there. All right. Next up was the first Berserker, Kazen. Bad hair liberal. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this was an interesting looking just, one. It was kind I'm of just, a... Man, that girl had green hair. The black girl had green hair. Listen, I'm <laughs> not... I'm not... I'm not. No, listen. I'm not... I'm okay with that hair. I don't care. Like, uh, just whatever. I just don't know many black people with, in 1995 who dyed their hair green. Sure. Like, that feels more of a... Slightly more modern, or like some, like some yeah. few years back, like not nineties. Nineties, I didn't see black people do that. But then again, you didn't she live was in only the black Pacific girl with a bunch of white girls. Dominic. That's why. I was about to say she's <laughs> she's with a bunch of she's only black girl, but a bunch of white girls. She's yeah, that's just the environment she lived. In. Yeah, she didn't live that 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 life. <laughs> she lived another life. All right. So next up, uh, the first Berserker Kazen. This was. Kind of cool because, like, the characters were animated in a very, like, two-dimensional cartoon art style, even though they were represented three-dimensionally. But then, like, the the backgrounds were more just photorealistic, you know, most modern AAA style. Where are we, Daniel? Because I I, I lost where we were at. The first Berserker Kazen. So I don't think you saw the trailer for this one yet, because I doubt it was part oh, of the yeah. best of trailers, and it wasn't really something I, I thought you know you necessarily needed to see. But it looks all it looks okay. Um, all right, next up. Uh, it's okay, I can't. I haven't seen it, so I guess I ain't thinking. <laughs> You're gonna be like, why didn't we talk about this more? It looks amazing. Um, next up was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They did a performance. They, you know, reiterated that that's coming out January, tw- or not January, February 24th, 2024. They're also going to do something in January. On the 9th, they're doing a crossover with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Apex Legends. So that seems pretty cool. Like somebody had Cloud Sword and, and things of that nature. It's... It's nice to hear about Apex Legends. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> uh, that that's kind of what yeah, it is just for to me. Hear that game, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, I don't. I hear about, of course, you hear about Fortnite, yeah. and I hear about Modern Warfare Warzone, um, Apex Legends. I haven't heard in a while. Yeah. I know it's still like happening though. Yeah, I still know what's going on because I. But, um, but I think their numbers have dropped but, off yeah. significantly. So. It's oh, nice yeah. to see them get something to maybe juice that uh, you know, that player count a little little bit. Cuz I man, I just to jump out of it real quick. I did try playing some of the Lego Fortnite thing just because I I remembered, oh yeah, they're doing that Fortnite stuff and then when I jumped on the the Rocket League stuff hadn't opened up yet. So I was like, okay, I'll see what this Lego thing is. And man, that game, now that it is a quote unquote platform, is just like a mess of tiles and things. And I don't yes. know if I'm if I'm getting into a custom game or why am I waiting for other players? Can't I just jump in and like explore a world by myself? It was just completely confusing and I don't know what, what was going on. I never got into a game or world and yeah, I I have very little interest to like go back. It scared you. Daddy. It scared. It scared you. It, did. it scared you, and you 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 got you left. <laughs> it's basically like YouTube now. Like you can create your own. Like you create your own content, but then you also create your own thumbnails and stuff. And it's just like lists and lists of different people's things. And I don't. I I don't get it. I'm too old for it, Dominic. I just it it doesn't doesn't work for me. Too old for this shit. Yep. All right. So after that, we had a slew of awards again. Score and music went to Final Fantasy 16, best independent. Ooh, game. who was it up against? 
Ah, uh, best score in music, not the game that you played. Sorry, Dominic. Of course, I know what's that straight <laughs> yeah, card. Let's see. Um, I've got these here, but I don't have them in order. Where There it is, score and music. And, of course, this website takes a while to load. Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Hi-Fi Rush, and Zelda is who it was up against. Well, yeah, it might can beat those games, but this, <laughs> it's like, it's, yeah, yeah, I, I think... They really they dropped the ball on that one. That that was just to get Final Fantasy 16 an award. It definitely feels kind of weird that like the only music and scores worth awarding were that basically the top four games and Hi Fi Rush, which is yeah. a game focused on its music. So yeah, there's definitely some some weird there. All right, next up was Community Support. That went to Baldur's Gate 3. Fighting Game went to Street Fighter oh, best 6. Independent. You, you, oh, yeah. You best, best, uh, independent. best Independent was Sea of Stars. And then, yeah. Yeah. That's a game I played. <laughs> 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 and then most anticipated was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. After that, they showed off a Honkai Star Rail update that's coming out. They also showed, and I feel like this came as like part of the commercial, but like I felt like it was worth mentioning because I feel like the last time we heard about this game, it did not well, have we a release date. Next year's most anticipated game going to be what's going to be Grand Theft Auto Six. Oh yeah, without a doubt, they won't put that it, on it, there it because Jeff Keighley too. won't be allowed to have year. a trailer at his show. It would. I mean it. It would have been this year, yeah. it, but um, you know, it came right the week days before. <laughs> Jeff Keighley already knew. That's why it wasn't in, in the nominations. All right. So Skull and Bones, Dominic, it's got a release date now, February 16th. It's officially coming again, allegedly. We'll see if oh, it you got a Which we'll call it this month, though. Um, early access. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a yeah, early access beta testing. So, or whatever. so what the fuck does that even mean? Is it single player early access or multi? What is this? I think it's game? multiplayer. Like exactly because it's it's uh, mostly focused on multiplayer. So I, I think that's. Well then, yeah, it's, it's a game I don't even care about. Yeah, like. it's it's very much not something I'm interested in at this point. All right, after that was. One of the bigger announcements from the show, Arcane Leon, uh, the studio behind Deathloop, is working on a Marvel game, Marvel's Blade. You are going to be Blade in a third-person action game set in Paris. Don't quite know what Blade's doing over there, but sure, why not? Um, and it's just, you know, a vibes trailer. Didn't have gameplay or anything like that. Sounds like it's very early into development. No release date. But that's cool that Xbox is going to have something to, you know, on par with Spider-Man, potentially. Yep. Uh, the- and I think I, I, just, I saw somebody on the internet, no confirmation. <laughs> this people, that he said that it's going to be rated M. Oh. I didn't really look to see that, uh, but... I'm like, yeah, in your face. In your face, <laughs> Spider-Man, with your goody-ass stuff feeding the homeless and shit well, like that. You, you take that shit out of here. Get too ahead of him, Dominic, because it might also be coming to the PlayStation. With your homeless vampires. <laughs> your homeless oh. vampires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give them your blood. Um, yeah, so there, there was no Xbox logo on this, so it, it's made people speculate that this might be coming to playstation as well there's been no official announcement one way or the other so we shall see how much these like antitrust you know lawsuits and whatnot have uh they should do a spawn game soft. what's that they do should a spawn do game oh. <laughs> there you go nintendo will do that down i don't even spawn. know if they still do spawn comics i believe they do i feel like i heard something oh, about okay. like a new kind of spawn something relatively recently so maybe. All right. After that was spawn best spawn. ongoing game. The spawn of spawn. What's that? I said the spawn of spawn. The spawn of spawn. The maybe son yes. Or daughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, uh, best ongoing game was announced by Anthony Mackie, who, while he was on stage, also announced that Twisted Metal is getting a season two. So that's cool. That show was a lot of fun. Uh, best ongoing game went to Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. They, they that did it, That is weird. That is fucking weird. Nah, they did it. <laughs> they, Redemption arc. 
Yeah, they, they got the reward. We kept a working on this game that Sony would best. not sell on their platform because it was so bad. And then they they got the DLC that came out. It's just that well, I think a best Owen game for some reason I keep thinking like something like those games that just continue to get updated, yeah. like multiplayer. Final games. Fantasy, you know, eleven or <laughs> 13 or whatever the online <laughs> one is. When I saw Cyberpunk, I mean, there's a lot of people who are like, what? <laughs> this gets a best ongoing? Yep. This is just a way to get, yeah. I mean, no, I, look, respect, but I don't know, <laughs> man. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. know. That's just a little weird to me. And I think like some people were saying that uh, CFD should have gotten it. Uh, for what they've done, um, but then people say, you know, it's the Xbox tax, and I was like, yeah, that's right, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, next. It's like, it, so, I think it's a weird choice, though. Yeah. It's a weird, for me, it's, it feels weird. I, I understand why you got it, but it's weird that I didn't think about this type of game. Yeah, getting it. I fully agree. All right, next year it should be Starfield. <laughs> <laughs> if they, if they, no, it'll be Redfall, Dominic. It's gonna be Redfall. Oh yeah, Red, yeah Red, <laughs> that's right. They did, yeah. They, they did just that did update. update yep. You know that, yeah. All right. Next up was the Last Sentinel. This is coming from Lightspeed LA. Uh, apparently, a studio we should know, but I don't know why we should know that because they haven't released a game yet, seemingly. And this was just a trailer of like these people attacking this family. And then, like, one of the guys smashes this woman's face, and then it turns out she's an android, and then a lady comes in in, ex- in an exosuit and, like, gets rid of the, the dudes. So, like, it looked cool, but there's not much to yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like an Asian setting. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's... I don't know where, honestly. I don't know if it's Japanese or mm. China. I, uh, but they, I saw the eyes, so I knew it was one of them. Um... <laughs> But um yeah or or hey you can be Korea I have no idea be like um but yeah it's um it looks like it could be it looks like maybe an action game most mm. likely yeah and you know the action type of I'm getting this mixed up with what's the other game that with um the first descendant the one that's oh that's what that is yeah. the one that's supposed to, I said it has to look like the environment from Death Stranding yes yep yeah so that's actually next because I confused this thinking that it was the same game the the last sentinel and then they showed the first descendant and that's summer 2024 apparently according to like some youtube comments i saw on the trailer for this uh, i guess it's been in beta already and it kind of reminded me of anthem like you're flying around in this exosuit but also like you said visually it kind of looked like death stranding because they're like kind of these bare environments but then there's these like very large, weird looking creatures that you're you're fighting and shooting. So it it looked really neat. But I I wonder what that is. You know, when that comes out, is that actually gonna be like a quality game or is this gonna be one of these things that we just kinda write off and it was never yeah. amazing. It just <laughs> presents pretty well in a trailer. So it's the Sonic Frontiers. Yes. Any Sonic game ever. Got it. <laughs> All right, next up, Dominic Zenless Zone Zero. This is an anime action game. I saw a lot of anime ladies in maid outfits uh, fighting. So, Was it somebody in cat ears, or was that another game? I'm pretty sure they were cat ears. They were definitely cat ear vibes, if not cat ears themselves. So that's coming out soon in 2024, according to them. So I don't know what coming soon means, but... 2024 is almost soon, so maybe January this 1st. is your January 1st game, yeah. Yes. All right, next um, up. It is, yeah, it reminded me of Scarlet Nexus, yes. the game I played. It kind of looked like that. Yeah. Next up was Den of Wolves uh, from Ten Chambers. Apparently, these are guys who were veterans of uh, Payday and games of that nature. It It had a very, like, Payday vibe to it. It looked like they were masked guys potentially doing heists and crimes type of thing. Okay, I didn't look at this, so I, I can't really say much. Yeah, it was just like uh, neon masks, so it was very much like, ooh, they're going to do future crimes. 
Uh, next oh. up was Adam Looper. Scar. What's that? Sorry, sorry. I said Looper. Looper. <laughs> uh, next up was Asgard's Wrath 2. That's uh, the VR uh, follow up to Asgard's Wrath, of course. That's coming out December 15th. Did you did did you ever talk about Asgard's Wrath? Did you play that game? I don't. If I did, Daniel, I don't remember. Yeah. Because that's one remember. that yeah, I, I hear about I as like one of the top tier games on the Quest, too. So. Yeah. If not, it might be worth, you know going back and trying to revisit that now oh definitely all right next up they showed off uh, uh some clips from the fallout show they had um what's his face up there uh walter goggins along with some of the other actors and that show is apparently coming out in april 4th or not april 4th <laughs> in april of 2024 um i don't know i i the first trailer that they showed off looked all right. It it looks like it's an interesting mix of kind of lightheartedness with the more dour, of course, you know, post-apocalyptic stuff. So I I wonder if that's going to be good or not, Dominic. Oh, yeah. I have no idea. Um, what does it come on, Amazon? Yeah, it's an Amazon thing. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I hope it's good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I do want to watch it. I'll give it a shot. I give it a shot. I mean, hell, I give Halo a whole fucking season, <laughs> so I should give this a shot. Yeah. And I'm going to watch season two. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriately, uh, they also announced the Best Adaptation Award, which went to The Last of Us, of course. I had started writing that before it was even announced in my notes, because, come on, obviously. Uh, next. Yeah, what the choices were there? Mario. Oh, yeah, the Mario movie. <laughs> the Mario yeah, movie, the Twisted Metal, anything. and uh, the uh, Gran Turismo movie. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah, Last of Us. Yeah. Should have got it. Without a doubt. All right. Next up, uh, Hello Games announced Light No Fire, which is a new... Oh, Hello Games made it. Yeah, okay. the, the guys behind... Um, what is that game called? No Man's Sky. So, they are promising i don't know if i should use the word promising but they they are uh, they no, are alleging that this is going to be a multiplayer procedurally generated earth but like a fantasy earth which is very clear from this trailer because you're riding around on things like dragons and and whatnot but they're talking about basically creating an entire planet that everyone exists on so i I guess they're getting into like MMO territory at that point. Um, it seems very ambitious. Um, you know, no man's sky obviously launched in a way that, that no one was really thinking it was going to, you know, they thought it was a different game. Uh, maybe they have learned their lesson and are trying to be a lot more transparent about what this game is ahead of time. But at the same time, they're they're making lofty promises that I hope they are able to keep, Dominic. Do you have? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, yeah, I mean, I'm known as like a big multiplayer kind of game. Yeah. It's just not for me, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope I hope it turns be- a, a lot better than what No Man's Sky did initially. Yeah, I mean, they've um, definitely got the game there, has become so. just really good. Yeah. yeah, oh, definitely. They got in there. I mean, they got in there and beyond. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So hopefully, like you said, in this game, and it, it grab people um a whole lot more. Yeah. You know, um, for the bank and these promises will be met. <laughs> All right. Next up was the announcement of Stormgate. Uh, they're going into early access summer twenty twenty four. This is by Frost Giant, who are apparently um, guys that came out of Blizzard, basically guys that worked on StarCraft, and it is very much... That is something. They We left Blizzard. We're going to call ourselves Frost Giants. <laughs> we left the Blizzard. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, but yeah, apparently that game is on Kickstarter and you know is, is now getting into the point where people are actually going to be able to play that game, so... That's all right. Uh, also, Simu Liu, the the guy that played in, um, oh fuck, what's the what's the Marvel movie? Uh, why am I blanking right now? Um, ba 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 ba. 
uh, Moon Knight. No. Uh, God. Uh, the actor that was in the Marvel movie, um, Shang-Chi. He was in Shang-Chi. Um, the guy that played in there is going to be a voice actor in in Stormgate. And he was there to announce that he was going to be okay, doing Okay, what is Stormgate? Like, what are you doing here? It's an RTS game. It's, it's it. basically Warcraft, okay. Starcraft. Oh, okay. It looks pretty good, though. Um, all right. After that was a whole slew of awards again. Action Adventure went to Tears of the Kingdom. RPG. Uh, so it did win one. Yeah. Fuck. RPG went to Baldur's Gate. Sim Strategy went to Pikmin. Sp- oh, yeah. People were mad. That, I mean, there were some people weirdos who are mad like spider-man didn't win that award and i was like shut up action adventure yeah it was never gonna win dominic like (laughs) it was never gonna win i know you i know you were in a tizzy you was like oh i love both of the i love zelda and (laughs) spider-man who do i want to win (laughs) yep that's that's how i was no i never had any thought that that game was gonna win any of the big categories at least um, all right, next up, uh, sports and racing went to Forza, multiplayer went to Baldur's Gate. That one was a little surprising to me. I mean, I know it has that, but yeah, I don't know that that's like the focus of that game. Um, players vote yeah, went to Baldur's Gate. They announced Final Fantasy 16 DLC. Echoes of the Fallen is out now. It, it shadow dropped the night of the game awards. And the Rising Tide is coming out in spring of 2024. So those are new chapters for Final Fantasy 16. I'm just I'm I'm curious about the Baldur's Gate thing because, mm. like I, I like it and I think it probably deserved Game of the Year and everything. Um, mm. But like the players vote, I'm like uh, I'm guessing most people just didn't know about these awards and shows <laughs> because I just feel like it. FIFA should have won, have won that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just feel like it should have won. <laughs> in a real, if there was like a real vote of players, like they did back in the day, like when Madden won, like yeah. I just feel like Baldur's Gate wouldn't have won. I feel like Spider Man would have beat it. Yeah, <laughs> it was so many, I, I like, feel, it was, uh, yeah, it's it's interesting because while it feels like Baldur's Gate is like the terminally online choice, because like that's you know, at the same time the game awards feels a little broader than that. So it feels like, yeah, like a Spider-Man two could have maybe pulled that off. All right. So go ahead. All right. So after final fantasy 16 was the game direction award that went to Alan wake two. Then they showed off the finals out now. Um, that is game direction. Uh, I mean, I kind of figure what it is. And I, yeah. um, I mean, I have no, Actually, that was the one I think I thought um, Zelda was like a lock for because of like how many weird systems and like game design features they they had in there. Oh, I think I think that's where I was headed with that one. Um, All right. So the finals, this is a competitive shooter. It's based around like you're in a television show kind of thing. It has very much like so not the NBA finals heavy on style. No, no, no. Charles Barkley here. Um, that, <laughs> Charles Barkley, you only been in one. I just meant like he's talking about him usually. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I, honestly, I was expecting you to say yeah, he's never been in one. Um, because I couldn't remember if that was like one of those weird stats where like yeah, he's never. Oh no, nah, he's been in one. Um, he lost Jordan. That's so what that was the one he probably could have won, <laughs> but Jordan, Jordan just kept a lot of people away from winning one. Yeah, <laughs> that's rough. Yeah, but the finals is a game that's been in like early access beta, you know, for a while now. But it is, it it got shadow dropped into 1.0 as well the same night as the Game Awards. After that was kind of their biggest, uh, you know, like end of the show trailer. It was the Monster Hunter Wilds that's coming out in 2025 as well, Dominic. So another another big one for that year. Uh trailer looked like monster hunter all right what'd you yeah. think <laughs> yeah i didn't see nothing like like different from what we see in the recent months monster hunters yeah. um like still the big one is still world um yeah. like when that trailer first came because that was really like it looked great mm-hmm. graphically and everything uh this didn't do that um even though it was on new generation now but i mean 
Um, I don't know what you could do, honestly. I mean, I don't know. Um, because, I mean, it's not my type of game. But, I mean, I like the look. I, I like when I see people do go after those monsters and stuff. I just don't, playing that game, I just don't like the obtuse, obtuse controls yeah. for it. Um, the, the mechanics, like the, the weapons and stuff like that. I don't mean, that's the part of the game. But it's just that's something for me. <laughs> But hey, they get a new Monster Hunter, so people really enjoy that series. So there you go. And in 2025, oh God, I mean, <laughs> that's going against the Grand Theft Auto yeah. Six. Yeah. <laughs> they know it's not to going, actually go. Not, that's time. not going to win Game of the Year award. <laughs> no. That's not going to win Game of the Year. No. All right, and then Game of the Year for this year, Dominic was Baldur's Gate Three. The man from Larian who was sitting there the entire time in the upper torso of a suit of armor. Uh, that had to be very uncomfortable, was able to get his moment on the stage in said suit of armor. Um, apparently, they were also supposed to announce uh, at at some point during the show that the Xbox version was out now as well. Uh, apparently, they dropped the ball there and did not. I'm going to blame Jeff Keighley playing music and, and ushering these guys off stage, though. Um, Xbox tax. Yeah, Xbox, Xbox tax. tax. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Keeley. Yeah. So he's like, I ain't giving no no shot. No. <laughs> hey. So that was the game. Yeah. Awards. So it's out now, man. So it's on yeah. Xbox. So Xbox got it. So that's it's out everybody almost everywhere. They can play yourself a Switch. But yeah, <laughs> it, that is that is awesome though. That yeah. Is, I mean, because that's that's a great game. That's a great game. I think everybody should like. I mean, people who are into RPG should at least give it a shot um, because it does have things. It's not. It's, it may seem hardcore. It, it's it's very hardcore, but they have um, things in place that can make it a whole lot simpler for you. Mm-hmm. You know, if you want to stay with the story and not deal um, too much into stuff like that. Inventory management is really the thing like I'm not big deal with, but a lot of people are RPGs are. Yeah. They they like to do that. Me, I'm is takes a lot of time away that I don't want to deal with. Mm-hmm. Um in that, but hey, you, you I think the settings in there to make it a whole lot simpler for you. And they've done an update. They done a recent update that that's they've added some quality of life stuff to it. Um yeah. I mean, because this game has been in early access for some years. Like, I forget that. That it's been in early access mm. for PC for some years. But, um, they, um, they also added, like, um, where, because there was something in the game, yeah, yeah that I didn't like, uh, that you had to, like, if my, if a character who's not in my party had something I wanted, I had to go put them in my party again just to get it out instead of just managing my party. Like, overall. Like, everybody. Now they added that in. And I'm, uh, I'm like, oh, good. I'm glad they did the update for it. But I'm thinking, but I'm thinking, like this game out for months. And come on, that's like a feature. I know people were bitching about this in the goddamn early access. <laughs> so like, why, 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 why did it take so long? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's cool that they're updating the game. But th- then it's also like, this is a long ass game, and I'm not a person who, I'm a person who only does usually like one playthrough with these games. Mm-hmm. So, like, you added stuff. Like, if I would have got this game when it first came out, I would have probably been done with it or close to being done. That is that some of these features will just be lost on me. And I'm like, oh, man, y'all did this. And I almost get to the point that, you know what, now how games are being made, now with updates, like, um, don't get them when they first come out. <laughs> that's what... It, that's fucking sad. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that that that's where we. I mean, we've been there for a while. But even for but you didn't think you would be there for some single player games. Yeah. But it's it's come to that where it's almost like if you know you're not gonna play this game again, um, like I guess you have to t- ask yourself: Do you want to want? Do you really want to have to play this now? Or can you wait where it probably be updated with some features that make it better than what it originally was? Like you have to, it's something you have to ask yourself for that. Or like well you don't you don't care. Like you can play it now, you know features later. Sometimes I don't care. Like it's good. I say, Oh, that's that's nice. I would have liked to have that, but I already beat the game and I'm okay. It's like I'm not mad. Um but some features I do be mad with. Like I'm like, oh man, I really wish I had that, but I I don't want to play this whole game again. I already beat it. Um yeah, this kind of sucks. Like, for multiplayer, I get it. 
and, and you know what? I, I get it. Like, listen, man, you think you got something going on. You want to update the game. And just for or people, because there are people who do play them again. So at least it's there for them, for people who do play the game multiple times. Yeah. That's nice. Um, it's just that, I don't know. Um, like, I, I think I'm more okay with, like, things being updated. I'm not saying they shouldn't, but I'm just saying, like, for me personally, like, some of those update, like, years later or something in the game I played, because it makes me probably go back to it because I haven't played it in so long. But when it's, like, just months, you know, like a month or mm-hmm. so, I'm like, I could have waited. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, I, I could have waited. It's more like, regret no, it than enjoyment later. of going back to the game. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, one thing is, like, years later, you update a game and did something better. It's like, okay, it's been some time. But it was like a month later. I was like, dude, I could wait to December till this big update happen instead of getting it in September. What the hell? I didn't have to play it then. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, yes. Game of the year, Baldur's Gate. Congratulations <laughs> uh, for the Achilles um, to get that reward. Um, yeah. Yep. We'll see how this game ends up being for our Superpod um, Game of the Year awards. Yeah, we shall see. Can I get the half ass trophy? <laughs> All right, Dominic. So that was the Game Awards 2023. Did you have any thoughts or feelings that you didn't get to express before we move on to new releases? No, because um, I didn't. Okay, I didn't watch the show. I just watched um, highlights. Mm-hmm. So I didn't sit down and watch it. I was thinking about doing it, but then um, I realized. I didn't want to. So, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's because I just wanted to see the trailers. Yeah. I just want to see the trailers, and it was a lot of other stuff. And I'm just not into the, the awards part anymore. But I, I was younger. Don't I worry, Jeff like, Keighley's I, not I did. <laughs> like, because I was, um, I mean, I did watch, uh, I think, yeah. I remember even when I was older, I think it was a uh, award show um, back. 360 days, I think it was on Spike TV. Yeah, Spike TV. I think I watched it. I, was, I think I watched that the whole thing. It wasn't that long though. Yeah, you know, it was like this is like a like lot longer. And I remember because I remember seeing the DLC for um, Gears of War two, mm. like coming out um, and something like that. And so yeah, it yeah. So I was into that stuff. And, you know, I'm just older. It's just this stuff. All I care about is. What's coming out in the future? Like the award stuff, I could just read the list and they won and like good for them, yeah. like whatever. Um, because it's just even though this is supposed to, they Kelly wants to make it feel like the Oscars, which I guess in the if you want to be like real like realistic, yeah, it probably is because they all Oscars be bought and sold, be bought <laughs> too. Um, but if they wanted something with some integrity, like I, which I'm not saying. I, it lost it or it did. I don't know. I just felt something more. I, I wanted to be something more than that, like a real award show, because I just feel like it's missing a lot of things in here that to make it a more of a award show. Like some of the um, categories are just a little iffy, um, and then the uh, not just the choices you pick, but some things are missing. I wish, or I wish there was like an explanation, you know. Because, like, the music of war, I'm like, ah, come on, man. There was some games that was based on music. Like, what what are we doing here? Like, what's, um, like, can, can you at least explain why they didn't make it? Like, um, what what was it? Was it that people forgot? Or people really generally just didn't think they were that good, they were good at all, like, for that. I mean, for, against those games. Um, it, yeah. So, it's all right. I mean, it's still, I still like that it's there mm-hmm. because we do have something to see these uh, trailers yeah. on. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm just not into the actual the reward award part. I mean, most people aren't. They, mean, they like to argue. I mean, it's fun to argue. It is fun to argue. <laughs> and, and it's fun to call people names and call them losers and stuff and um, call them Xbox and pay, um, ponies. What the PlayStation 1 is? Ponies. Call it again. Ponies, yeah, the ponies. Yeah. I, I don't even know what the name is for Nintendo. Babies. Babies. Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, <laughs> Children. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so how would you feel about the show? I thought overall it was fine, but at three hours is way too long, and it still has yeah, that man, problem of... Least. 
I don't know what's a trailer that you're trying to showcase and what's a commercial, especially because like the commercials commercials. are baked into the program. So like if I go back and watch a YouTube (laughs) video, all of those are still in there. So I, I just don't know. And it's, it's overwhelming and, and really it's, it's the length of it. I don't mind the awards, especially the way they do it now where it's like, okay, we'll kind of rapid fire some of these and then the bigger categories will give them time on stage because yeah, it's nice to give an opportunity to some of these creators to, to kind of get their piece, you know, and say, and say what they want to say, even though, you know, like this year they were kind of getting cut off pretty quickly. Um, I will also mention, I didn't have it in my notes because I skipped it, but there was a performance for Alan Wake two because there's apparently a moment in the game where they kind of get into a song and dance thing that is apparently very good. And because I have not gotten to that part in the game yet, I haven't really wanted to, to watch that from the game awards. Okay. Um, but people liked it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, so there is also that, um, but yeah, I think overall it was, it was another one of these. I think there are definitely things that Jeff Keighley needs to improve upon. I, I respect his ability to try and pull this together and, and kind of make the games industry, uh, well, make, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of a, mi- a mix of emotions here as I say that, because again, like Jeff Keighley is a lot of it is about himself and, and like just even being introduced every time as the creator of the game awards. It's like, he can't just be the host of the show. He can't just be Jeff Keighley. He has to be Jeff Keighley, the guy that created this entire show. And then always just like the rampant fanboyism of anyone related to Hollywood or Hideo Kojima is a little bit bothersome, especially when, you know, you, you, you make it all about them, you know. Somebody pointed I mean, out on. I mean, come on, he he loves his husband. He, I mean, I, and that's I, I fine. We should support our partners. <laughs> um, but somebody pointed out on Reddit, like, yeah, you're 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 ushering all these these guys off stage. Meanwhile, you're giving, you know, Kojima like ten minutes to just pal around with him and and Jordan Peele, and it's like we didn't get anything from any of that conversation, like. Meanwhile, you've got the guys from Larry and talking. You got the happiness of three people. You got the, I mean, maybe, maybe that's. A, <laughs> but yeah, like even Larry and you had them talking about you know the people that they had lost during the development cycle, like people who had passed away. And meanwhile, you hear the music swelling up, and it's like maybe that's not the time to do this, guys. Um. So yeah, there are definitely kinks that Jeff <laughs> Keeley needs to work out. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. that is, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That is tough. Hey, and people who pass away, I mean, I, I bet you, man, Nintendo did that. You see, a, a, like, like some of the Japanese companies, there'd be a whole lot of people who <laughs> passed away. We just don't know them. <laughs> we don't know them. And we just don't know the causes yeah, of death. Evidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that, that's kind of where I am at with that uh, again they i i really music. like it it's as like, a place to <laughs> see new stuff what was that i'm sorry i'm just, I'm just thinking about like somebody mentioned like uh, my friend died and the music played do, 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 yeah do, do, it's, do, do, do. it's like doesn't get off the <laughs> it's one of those things where i think in. like Thank the music you. started Thank to pick you. up and then they, <laughs> it went down a little bit but like at the same then when we up again it's like I don't know what I should do. Should I? They had an AI control. See, <laughs> yeah. that's why they shouldn't have an AI control. <laughs> exactly. The AI was controlling by Tom, and it, 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 it doesn't read emotions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as there was that, but as a means to get more new content about video games that are coming out in the future, and more content for our podcast, as we just spent you know two hours talking about, but. Uh, yeah, as a show, it, it needs work. There's no security breaches, though, so I got to give them credit for that, at least that we know of. Oh, yeah. No one getting on stage they talking about Bill they Clinton. Then maybe. Everybody who tried <laughs> to get on stage, yeah, they, they, they are dead. They had snipers, yeah. yep. All right, so real quick, new releases, Disney Dreamlight Valley, that's now out of early access on PC, Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series. Mentioned Baldur's Gate being on Xbox now. And then the big one, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, is now out on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X. 
I had only seen the Game Informer review of that so far, and that was a 7.75. So it seems like that game could be perfectly fine. Yeah, um... Darn, I'm, I'm just surprised there were um, some game releases like those over note. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 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 the Avatar, yeah, because I saw that. I was, I was hoping. Yeah, so that's hoping for, I mean, her is fine. Mm. I do wish, like, I mean, I'm surprised you didn't mention it. I mean, um, like, it's just first person. It's, it's not third person. Oh. Because um, I know how you like third person. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it's, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, the, why? Um, yeah, I mean, the first person, when I was looking at a video of it, I mean, it seemed all right, but I don't know. I kind of wanted it to be third person, too. I think it's third person when you're flying. Oh, okay, that would make sense. Or where you ride and stuff. I think I think that's where it is. Man, just for the clip shots I've seen, mm-hmm. I'm assuming. Um, but, yeah, it's a first person um, game. Gotcha. And it, because it, it, now it, it's just a Far Cry, and that's yeah. what people were saying. Like it's kinda, that's what it, it feels like. like. A, far, a Far Cry, but it just in just with um, Avatar World. Yeah, and I mean it looks good. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's maybe a game I'll try out sometime in the future. It definitely seems like it's better than the original. I mean, the first Avatar game. Yeah. Um, so uh, I mean, if you like that world, I think I think it's fine. It's a it's a fine game. Yeah. yeah. Seems like it's a fine game. It's not. Excellent. It's not like uh, a big game. It's, it's a game that you played before, you know. Yeah. We won't be hearing before, about this so at the Game Awards next year. <laughs> no, no, we're not. We probably won't. We probably won't. We probably won't. Unless uh, it's a way for it. Jeff Keighley to get James Cameron on stage. Yeah, like best, best movie game. <laughs> uh, this is something. <laughs> the category they have. Yeah, but um, Dreamlike Valley. So this is the game we already played yep. before. Yeah, it's just in one point now because okay. we had played in early access. All right, which I just I still can't believe that was early. Yeah, I thought that was it. <laughs> Same. I completely forgot that that was early access at the time. So, yeah, that's what we got for the week, Dominic. You got anything else for the people before we wrap this up? Nah, I'm good. All right. Thank you guys as always for listening. You can check us out on Twitter. Dominic is at DStalworth5. I'm at Regulus MB. The podcast is at Superpod, S U P A P O D. Superpod.com is the website. You can check us out there. It has links to all the places you can find us, including YouTube, where there's a video version of this podcast, as well as iTunes, to share Google Podcasts, Spotify, and any other place you might find an audio podcast. Until next time, guys, talk to you later. All right, see you.